Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Huguet, and I would like to review ventral hernias with you. I'm a board certified general surgeon with fellowship training in minimally invasive surgery or advanced laparoscopy at the Mayo Clinic. I've performed over 2,000 hernia repairs and my recurrence rate is generally extremely low. I'd like to discuss the typical information that we go over during an office visit uh, when discussing hernias. Today we'll be reviewing ventral hernias, uh, which include all hernias of the abdominal wall outside of the groin region. A ventral hernia is a hole in the abdominal wall lining along the uh, entire abdomen. There are several different types of ventral hernias. In the upper abdomen is considered an epigastric hernia. At the belly button is an umbilical hernia. If you've got an incision anywhere, that would be an incisional hernia if the hernia is at that location. Down in the groin, you can have an inguinal hernia or a femoral hernia, which we will not be reviewing with this video today. A hernia is basically a hole in the muscle lining. And the bump is where your insides push through that hole. So shown here is a, a side view of the muscle lining. So this is the outside, this is the inside, and here is where the hole is, and your intestines are pushing through that hole. A hernia can contain intestines or any other structures that are in the area or vicinity of the hernia. To repair a hernia, we basically push everything back inside the hole, then we patch that hole with a piece of mesh typically. Sometimes we repair hernias through sutures and no mesh, but the purpose of our video today will be to review laparoscopic ventral hernia repairs where we use mesh 99.9% .9 of the time. A laparoscopic ventral hernia repair is done through little incisions on the sides of the abdomen. And we inflate the abdomen with gas, which is carbon dioxide, to perform the operation. Typically, we will uh, work through any kind of scar tissue related to the hernia. And uh, shown here is the side view of the hernia where you can see the bulge and where the contents were pushing through that bulge. After taking down any scar tissue, we then patch the hole with mesh. The mesh we use is typically a permanent mesh, and we attach that to your muscle with a combination of permanent and absorbable tacks. The mesh that I use, I've used for approximately a, a thousand operations, and I've had extremely good success with this mesh. Uh, it's generally very safe, and I've not had any long-term issues or complications related to this mesh. After surgery, you can expect to have pain at the incision site, which lasts for approximately one to two weeks. Most of your pain will be localized to the left side of the abdomen. There will be one particular incision on the mid-left abdomen that has a stitch in the muscle that causes pain that can go on for a couple weeks. Uh, this operation is generally a little more painful than most of my other laparoscopic surgeries just because of this one particular spot. The surgery takes on average between 20 minutes and an hour depending on the size of your hernia. Afterwards, the incisions hurt for uh, a week or two and sometimes it hurts longer than that depending on uh, the size of your hernia. We give you activity limitations which typically last for about six weeks. Uh, we will uh, give you a handout and that will list all the exercise limitations that we recommend after surgery. This lasts for approximately six weeks. And generally, we recommend that you avoid painful activities as your guide. So if you just use pain and common sense as a guide, you shouldn't cause any damage to the incisions. Most patients will go back to work about one week after surgery, and you're fully recovered by anywhere between two and four weeks after the operation. Surgery is very safe and generally low risk. There is a small chance of open surgery where we have to go in through an open incision. Uh, there is a small chance uh, that uh, we could injure your bowels or other organs while we're fixing the hernia. The odds of that is also less than 1%. If during the operation we find that there is damage to your bowels, then we may need to stop the surgery to avoid mesh placement and go back to surgery at a later date. The odds of that is less than 0.1 tenth of a percent. One thing that you might notice after surgery is swelling on the left side of the abdomen or the hernia site. You may also develop a little knot uh, on the incision on the left side of the abdomen. 
Uh, this is a common finding and uh, will generally go away in a few weeks to months, depending on the size of your hernia. A seroma is where you get fluid buildup at the location of where the hernia was located. And uh, this is another common finding after hernia surgery. Fluid will build up uh, where the hernia was located and fill the void uh, where the hernia location was. Uh, it typically will build up in a few days and may take a few months to go away depending on the size of the hernia. Uh, most of the time surgery is same day surgery, so somebody would have to drive you home. For larger hernias, we may keep people overnight in the hospital and so that would be patient dependent on the size of your hernia. Your incisions will have glue, which is uh, placed on top of where we already stitched the incisions with absorbable sutures. Uh, the glue will typically peel off in approximately two weeks uh, and it will basically flake up and fall off. Uh, you're okay to shower 24 hours after surgery, but we recommend avoiding going underwater in a pool or a bathtub for approximately two weeks after surgery. During your office visit, you'll meet with the staff who will go over these instructions and give you a handout about the exercise limitations. I would encourage you to also watch an educational video we have in regards to post-op expectations and exercise limitations after surgery. I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you have any further questions, feel free to call our office. You can also watch this surgery as a live video. Uh, that is narrated on our website at baysurgicalspecialist.com. I look forward to seeing you in the office.